Hi guys, I am Jake from the Fishing with the Matador channel and today it's the end of January and uh, we are here at the, this is the, uh, the Jordan Bridge boat ramp. We're going to be fishing today on the Elizabeth River and we're going to be fishing for speckled trout. Maybe there will be a striper or a puppy drum. Uh, we'll find out. We're going to be fishing on this Carolina skiff here. And uh, this is this is my neighbor, my neighbor's rig. We're going fishing with my neighbor and his dad. do is uh we're basically going to be very slowly trolling typically with trout we'd be casting but once it starts to get cold like this we have to cover a whole lot more area and uh just the the trolling is a lot more effective we're just here in the river we have our Minn Kota Tarova and uh these trout, these trout are going to be staged in the deeper water and uh, it's cold, they're slowed down a lot and uh, we're just going to slow troll and see how we do. Hopefully we'll get some bites. Like I said, there's a big cold front coming tonight, possibly snow tomorrow and we haven't had snow here in a couple of years and I would think that if, if there's a big cold front coming, they're probably going to try and feed today um and once it gets really cold the water gets under 40 degrees they'll probably go dormant uh, after that until the water warms back up over 40 degrees but uh we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot all right this is what we're using this is an eighth ounce jig head we just have a a green fluke on there actually this is the same fluke the last time i used this one the last fish the last fish that i caught on this bait was a six pound trout so it was still rigged up but uh we'll go ahead and throw these things out there are a lot of trout down there Hopefully they'll bite. What happens with this is, is when it gets cold like this, these fish all go to the deeper water and you'll have this whole river of fish and all of the fish are concentrated in just a few spots. All right, hooked up on the first one here. Sean got one. been trolling for 20 minutes or so and we've been watching them peck at them but they they haven't been committing that one just kind of grabbed it really slow and light and then just stayed with it nice fish a real nice trout there like a 21 22 incher pretty fish Right, up again. Here, bring it that side, Dad. Okay. Bring them all the way up here. Same, same rod. Same, same rod, rod, same bait. He doesn't feel real big. What's that? He doesn't feel real big. 
either. That water's so cold, they're not going to feel very big. Still a nice fish. 18 incher. I was going slow with them. Another one. Same bait. Put him into the box. All right. On another one. They're starting to bite. Just caught one not even two minutes ago. Little guy. Where do you want to? I can swing him. Yeah, you ain't got to net that one. Whoa. Another 16, 17 inch trout. He's a keeper. Oh. I, think it's a, I think it's a big trout that's in temperature shock. Yeah. Shit. It is a big trout. Sweet. He's gonna die. Yeah, might as well throw him in a box. He's still alive. Yeah. He's in. That's cool. Sweet. All right, let's go back to fishing. All right. <laughs> Got another one. Another one. Really sluggish in that cold water. This is a this is about a healthy fish to Yeah. This is about a 20 inch speckled trout. Right in the corner of the mouth. This one's on a green, a little green paddle tail. it up and go on in now we've been uh been out here for a couple hours and uh the fishing wasn't really hot and heavy or anything like that but we did catch a couple we caught five uh, got some nice ones though it's kind of a kind of a quality over quantity kind of thing but for the end of January with it being 30 degrees outside it is it's really good fishing you know it's something to catch there isn't a whole lot in salt water that we can catch in Virginia in the winter like this but go ahead and go back to the dock go get these things cleaned up and eat them dock we got the boat hauled out it was a frigid cold day of fishing out there but we got them uh we caught five trout all the trout we caught were all nice ones uh, our biggest one i think is probably 23 or 23 and a half inches uh, it's a good day all uh, trolling lures got it done i'm gonna go ahead and get these things home and uh we're gonna clean them up and i think we're gonna make some speckled trout lumpia with them. Anyways, we're getting ready Let's to go. clean this nice 23 inch speckled trout that we caught earlier. This is a nice fish. This is probably a four pound speckled trout.
ribs are. Just want to kind of push our knife over the ribs and not cut the ribs. So you, you want to be pretty gentle with it when you when you go through there. And we're going to cut right here behind the head. Take the skin off of it. I'm just going to take my knife. I'm going to take the very tail piece right here. I'm going to just, I'm just kind of. I'm not actually going to move the knife a whole lot. I'm more going to pull the skin. I got my my thumb pinched down in there, and I'm going to get a really good grip on that skin. I'm going to pull that. Board there, and what we have there is the skin without the meat. The little bit of red meat that the trout does have all came off of there. So now we have a really clean, nice, light, white, boneless fillet. We're going to do that on the other side of the fish, then we're going to make wound peel with it. Just got done cleaning our speckled trout and this is all that's left. If you see, we got it really nice and clean. There's hardly anything left to get off of them. Two nice fillets. Now we're going to make the filler for our lumpia. Normally, if we were gonna make it with uh, like pork or chicken or beef, we would leave that raw and then we would cook that raw inside the lumpia. With fish, fish cooks down so much that we're going to cook our fish before we put it into the lumpia, and then we're going to fry it again. But we're gonna saute the fish, but we need to make our fillers. One large carrot, two stalks of celery, and a large onion, and we're just going to put those in a food processor here. And we are going to get those all chopped up together in the little pieces. Now we are going to saute our fish. And this is why we cook it first. We're going to cook this first so that we can take the fish and we're going to chop it all up into little pieces because with our lumpia, we want to have everything in small pieces. This fish is almost too big for this pan. And we're going to season our fish. A little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of pepper, and a little bit of salt. fish is finished pan frying and we have minced it up into little tiny pieces while it was frying. Fish is done. It's all minced up. It's in little, little small pieces, which is what we want for our lumpia. We're going to add, this is about a cup of uh, carrots and celery that are minced. And this is about half a cup of onions that are minced. I'm going to put that in there and we're just going to mix this up. We're going to add two eggs. What this egg will do is this will kind of hold everything together a little bit better, especially once it gets cooked. And this is the filler for our lumpia. On the stove right now, we have some oil heating up and getting ready to fry these, but we're going to 
start rolling. We need one egg. Spring roll wrappers. So this is how we're going to put these together. We're going to take some of our filler. We're going to put it inside of there. Then we're going to fold one side of it over. We're going to fold the other side of it over. Then we're going to very simply roll it. And then when we get to the end, we're going to take this egg wash that we have. You're not recording at all. We're going to take this egg wash that we have and we are going to just like so. That is a completed lumpia. Now, we are going to roll a whole bunch of these and then we're going to fry them. We have enough now that we can take, we can start frying. We're gonna fry these, we're gonna get these started frying. Now, since the inside is already cooked, these are done. This is our final result here. This is a beautiful tray of fresh lumpia made with speckled trout that we just called earlier today. And this is what we're going to use for our dipping sauce. This is called May Ploy dipping sauce. This is a sweet chili sauce. And we are going to They're just so good. Delicious. Normally these would be, normally lumpia would be like an appetizer or a side or something like that, but I have like 20 of them. I think I'm gonna make a whole meal with them. But uh, anyways, as always guys, this is delicious. I'd like to thank you guys for watching the Fishing with the Matador channel. And we caught some speckled trout. We cleaned the speckled trout and we turned them into lumpia. It was delicious. Thanks for watching guys.